fields. Porn. 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 <laughs> it's Ohio, baby. <laughs> So we've been gone a while. That's become a meme at this point. Also, there's Monica. Hi. Hey. Wait, wait, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> there we are. Some things never change. Yep. <laughs> He's uh, always here. Yeah, it's basically become a meme at this point. Like, oh, we'll make another video eventually. We will. So, a couple things. We have been gone, obviously, off of YouTube for a little while for a couple reasons. There are some issues with YouTube. But also, we're in a band, and we've been doing a lot of things with that band. Yeah. So go check us out over on the Turning Tides channel, and you can see what we've been up to for the past, however, like, year since we filmed the video. But today, we're kind of just going to give you, like, a little day in the life vlog, and uh, see how that goes. We're going to Ikea to get some, like, furniture and stuff, and then we're also going to a revolving sushi bar. So, yeah, let's go. Sushi place now. Chow. Chow. It's Kura Sushi if you're in Columbus. Come here. I didn't say that was okay. She said she's gonna nibble off my taiyaki. Thank goodness we're not a mukbang channel because we would have missed a lot of opportunities here with how much food we just ate. Uh, Elijah and I are at 17 plates. We got a little gotcha thing. You wanna pull that out? I haven't actually seen Spy Family yet. So if it's any good, let us know in the comments. Um, after this, we're heading to Ikea. Alrighty, so we just left Kura. Yeah, we spent like $90 on sushi by accident. It's a dangerous place to go and binge eat, especially when you haven't had anything yet to eat for the day. That was our breakfast and our lunch at the same time. We, we asked to sit at the bar part so that way we could like see it, which was probably a bad idea. The dangerous but, game. <laughs> yeah, dangerous game. But we've been here a couple of times now. We were like, why is this sushi like always so good? Like th this is just top tier from like places we've been, especially around Ohio. But I got to look in and it's actually a chain in Japan. So yeah, I mean, that, which... that would explain why it's sushi tastes actually so legit. Fine. And also I got, I got these little magnets from Spy Family because they have a Spy Family promotion going on right now. And I actually, I, I bought the little uh, keychain. It just kind of rolled up like a fruit by the foot right now. It's a lanyard. <laughs> I have to sneeze. <laughs> well, she, bless you. While she's doing that, um, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, that'd be really cool if you did. Subscribe and leave a like. And also check out Kyle's channel too. He's actually uploaded stuff here. Yep. You know, within the past like couple Month. of months and not, <laughs> you know, I think it's been since June of last year, since Elijah and I uploaded. Oh, well, that's super cute. Yeah. Got, Heck yeah. With like the little sushis on there. So cool. Heck yeah. It's just the same price as one of the plates too. You can either get like a little gotcha that rolls down after every 15 plates or you can just order whatever you want. If you ever had sushi before, go check out Kura. We're gonna go to Ikea and buy a couch. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so we just left. Where did we? Where did we go? We went to Half Price Books. We got a stack. Of we'll show books. you a little bit of that when yeah. we get back to the house. We got things we could show you when they're all built. We got a, we got things. Yeah, Thanks. poor Elijah we though. Stand. We looked for like there's like four or five different things Elijah wanted for herself, and they didn't have like, any of it. I got lucky. I got a coffee bar, which is something I've been wanting for a really long time, um, like literally since we moved in. But. I did find the coffee bar, the one that I wanted, and of course, I get there and it looks like it's empty, but thank God, there was one left. I got the very last one in Ikea, which, that is my biggest complaint with Ikea nowadays. You can go in Ikea, it's a maze. You're gonna see all the stuff that you want, but half of that stuff is not even in stock. There were like, I wanna say like four-ish items that I was gonna get and they didn't even end up having. There was that, um, I'll have Nathan pull up a picture if he can find it. 
but there's this chair that's been going like around Instagram and everything that I really wanted because we're trying to like cozy up our house. We're getting lots of lighting and stuff. Uh, Govi has been where it's at for us. Uh, if you haven't tried out lighting, that's been awesome for us. Uh, we have a couple Philips things, but they're like triple the price. There was this chair that has been going around Instagram. So like what I wanted going in there is what I was like going to look for. I found one, I was like, heck yeah, I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna get, took a picture of it. We go down there and the black one's gone. They're like a corduroy, black one's gone. I was like, okay, well I know they sell a green one. So we went over to like the desk looking to look it up. They don't sell that green one at this Ikea. Besides the point, there was like 10 things I wanted <laughs> and Ikea didn't have any of them. So I ended up with a little plastic light for our dining room that Nathan said looks like it came from Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I, I, I felt kind of bad because poor Elijah's just really wanting to find like a new chandelier. Like We'll show you our chandelier we have at home now when we get back. But um, the one we have now is kind of ugly. It's just got it's like beads and you can't really see it through very well. But the one that Elijah wanted to grab, it was actually pretty cheap. It was only like 30 bucks. So if you like it, go crazy, kid. Go. I'm like, this straight up just looks like something that would be in a dimly lit Waffle House at like four in the morning. Now let's go get some hot head. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> so much chicken. Shit, I don't think I grabbed a fork. Sorry for so much Jeep footage today, but we just went to hot head. So I don't like Chipotle. I know, hot take, but I don't know how much, how popular is hot head? It's an Ohio chain. It's super good. I highly recommend it. So yeah, two a lot things. Of people you, don't like it. So. I think it's incredible. They I have do. so really much like more it. selection than Chipotle, and also Chipotle just doesn't sit well with my tummy. Ciao. So we're home now, and really, it's been nice to film again. It's been so long since it's been so long since we've done um, any YouTube videos. I figure we'll show you some of the stuff we got. I know it's not like a lot of specifically gaming related stuff. In fact, I don't think any of it's gaming related stuff, but uh, just to show you what we got on our haul today. But just some like interesting pickups because Ikea always has just really randomly interesting things. There's this little like tray device for, we were just gonna use it for like our bathroom. We put like our little knickknacks in and it has like a little, you see yourself. Yeah, you can see the camera for the first oh, time. Oh man. And also, you know, like the little like dollar bin things that Target has, this was just like a couple bucks. I thought that was like the cutest little, Little jar, use it to store something. As you know, Half Price Books always has like interesting things. Uh, didn't find any games, but found a lot of manga. I actually picked up, if you guys know any of these and think are awesome, let me know like which ones I should start first. I got Look Back, which is by uh, Toski Fujimoto, which is the same guy that made Chainsaw Man. I got the first volume of 20th Century, 20th Century Boys, which I've heard is actually really good. A couple volumes of Blue Period, which I had a couple volumes. I haven't started it yet, so I picked them up because pretty cheap. I don't know how to pronounce this one. Ao Haru Ride. Um, I grabbed this one, which is Inubaka. And honestly, the only reason I really grabbed it, there's a shape on the back. <laughs> But uh, it had good ratings. I always check my anime list. I don't know if anyone uses that anymore. I got erased. Yeah, actually when Kyle and I were checking out because oh, Elijah yeah. had stepped away, cashier was telling us that uh, she really suggested it. It'll probably, oh, really? probably wreck you. Uh, and then got Tokyo Revengers, which I've heard of before. Can you stop making so much noise? Oh my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> this was actually another Target pickup. I finally found one of the wireless uh, nano controllers. I've been wanting one, but all they usually have are just the regular gray ones. And I always love like the Nano, but they're always wired. And look how freaking cute this little, I didn't know this existed. And then a couple more Ikea things. I actually grabbed these little pack of pot or pot, potted plants because I had some little vases that were actually from Ikea <laughs> that I never had anything small enough to fit into. We got some new, this is so interesting guys, I know. We got some new dog bowls because I want to show you what happened because of Nathan, not dishwasher safe. Yeah, those Bro. are so cute though. They actually came from PetSmart and yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I, I was the one who messed them up. I mean, this is kind of uninteresting. Yeah, just Some plates. plates. Basic, um, normal human things. This, uh, 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 actually, I wanted to ask, because I caught a rose at a Motionless and White concert um, and I actually want to put the rose in this. Like I had this Beauty and the Beast idea. If anyone has any ideas of what I could use to like hold the rose in place for this, That'd be awesome. Yeah, we just got a light. We're gonna use it to replace this thing, our beaded chandelier, I guess. Chandelier. Sh yeah, Swing whatever. from the chandelier. So, and this is the uh, the Waffle House light that Nathan said. <laughs> and we just got another little. It's just a storage drawer. It's just a little cart, which I highly recommend. I have a little cart upstairs. It's the same thing. I just store all my manga in it that I'm like gonna read soon. Um, and then coffee bar. 
this was like a week later, but this is the copy bar. It took me till like, I want to say midnight. We got home around nine o'clock. It took me three hours to build this thing. Yes, Ikea furniture is hard to build, but I'm also a dumb dumb and had to undo things like three or four different times. So lesson learned, don't be dumb. Also, I love how we filmed this at the point where all your coffee mugs look like a mess under <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's a nice coffee. Supplies. The dealer. And then this this rug. So we actually debated on this rug for a second, but I think I like it. I'm gonna put it in the office. And last but not least, we got Mako a new bandana <laughs> to match my shoes. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. It's been real. We'll catch you in the next one. Hopefully it won't be nine months. See ya.